Observant viewers will have noticed that this isn't mid-jour. This bloke's John Fox, Ultravox frontman for three years before he decided to go solo. It was heavy going for John. I think he just think he'd had enough. He wanted to, you know, when you get things like ultra hype, and uh, you can do a lot of things with ultra, can't you? You know, <laughs> ultra crap, <laughs> you know. Watch me now. Oh. I'm convincing Billy Curry, get Midge in the band, you're finished, you know. So when Rusty started talking about Midge then as well, he'd start asking about Ultravox, and I wouldn't answer at that time. I was really screwed up about it, you know. He sings, he plays, he does a keyboard, he's fucking genius, this guy. Get him in your band, you're all washed up. With your in, chart success was a piece of piss. Midge made love to the camera, Billy made love to his organ, not a pretty sight, yet extraordinarily the hits soon came. They were a real electronic band, you know, in every area, and they were romantic. They may well be perceived as being a group that was at the forefront of synthesizer technology, but I think most of all they're probably remembered for Vienna. I instigated Vienna, yep. I walked in and said, it's time we should do, we're right to do a ballad. Let's do a ballad. They did a tour of America and they played Vienna. And I went, what a song, this is fantastic. Blah, blah, blah. Come back, this is the single. And again, it's four and a half minutes long, forget it. I think it was Chris Wright who demanded Vienna and we thought, yeah, we just needed someone else to tell us, I think. I mean, I had every confidence that it was one of those records that had something different about it, that it would be successful. Vienna, and then when he went down for the verse again, back up a fifth. I mean, I thought that was actually quite in seriously intriguing. That's that cleared up then. You can't sit and tell jokes and you know wear a funny nose and things, and you're singing Vienna. It just doesn't work. The bus conductor's hat was just fine. <laughs> So suddenly, Vienna's like number two, and shut up your face is number one. I mean, that just about sums it up, doesn't it? I mean, you've got to have a sense of humour, haven't you? It's a not so bad, it's a nicer place, ah, shut up your face. Mwah. I mean, I thought it was dead funny, that shut up your face, you know. Great chorus, I wish we'd come up with it. <laughs> After Vienna, the hits kept coming, although Midge decided to develop a simultaneous solo career, worthy of his go-faster sideburns. OK, if you've got the energy, go for it, you know. But I really felt that it was a bit kind of opportunistic in a way, because it would have been better for us all to actually take a break, including him. Midge took the opportunity to do a solo single and a video, in which being five foot seven was a bit of a plus. sort of said pretty much he's sick of my ideas, sick of my playing. I mean, these things happen, you know, I mean, God, you know, and I just took that as a pinch of salt. It's just like, yeah, sure, you know, why are you here? And, uh, and I ended up writing that track. This single saw Ultravox back in the charts for the first time in three years, but the fallout had hit the band. It was all going a little bit pear-shaped and you're living in each other's pockets, you know, and you get, uh, you just get sick of each other, really, you know what I mean? With Midge focused on his solo career and numerous other projects, including Band-Aid, for which he co-wrote the award-winning single, it was the beginning of the end for Ultravox.
It's a shame the group broke up, really, because they didn't need to. I think there was room, there was room in the group for everybody to explore their own, you know, creative wishes. <laughs> Today, the Ultravox main men continue to write and record. Billy's doing film scores, while Midge, who doesn't want to be considered an 80s artist, is still churning out the hits. This was number one just last year, in Germany. We created our own style of music. That's what's really important. Bringing in some emotions from the classical world. But we mix them well. Street adventure, man. 